When recruiting astronauts to begin a long-term scientific endeavor or missions into the zero-gravity nature of space, National Aeronautics and Space Administration takes an incredible amount of variables into account to ensure the safety and the longevity of the mission. For as long as research plans have continued over the many decades that astronauts have been tasked with conducting scientific missions in space, the continued research into the effects of isolation, zero gravity, and the environment of the vacuum of the surrounding space on the human mind and body have been gathered to better understand exactly what it is that astronauts must endure. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over four things that happen to astronauts while in space and the effects that this has on health of these individuals. Gravity changes and adaptation. An astronaut's training will usually begin on the ground as potential candidates selected by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration will undergo different amounts of G-forces to prepare for the physically tasking requirements of entering into inner and outer space. When an astronaut first begins his or her mission at launch, he or she is subjected to substantial amounts of G-forces that can make their body feel up to three times heavier than on Earth, which puts added strain onto the body and, when prolonged long enough, can even cause its passengers to pass out as the blood rushes down from the brain to the lower extremities. This is only the beginning, however. As the astronauts begin to reach maximum speed, they will no longer feel the G-forces acting upon their body when locked into the orbit of our planet completely suspending them into a free-falling motion making them completely weightless. It is this lack of gravity of a long period of time that begins to do the most damage to the human body. In fact, it does not take long for muscle degradation to occur in the astronauts, as the weightlessness makes it impossible for those aboard the International Space Station to put any weight and strain on their muscles, which leads to them slowly degrading due to them not being used in any way. New efforts have been established to minimize this degradation by strapping down astronauts onto a treadmill and using resistance band training in place of weightlifting and muscle exercises. This does not solve other issues, however, as similar to muscle degradation, bone loss quickly and rapidly onsets those in a prolonged zero-g environment. On Earth, under normal g-forces, our body strengthens bones by creating microfractures when running, jumping or otherwise exerting force on our bones. Though this degradation can be minimized with exercises already available on the International Space Station, it will still continue to become progressively worse as time goes on. These are only the minor problems with life in an environment that lacks the adequate amount of acting g-forces a human needs as other functions of the human body begin to degrade equally in quality. The main cause for concern in zero-g environments is the degradation of the heart and the immune system. Due to the fact that the heart pumps blood readily adapted in a gravity environment suited for Earth, the lack of weight of the blood causes added strain onto the heart that can cause the left and right ventricles of the heart to decrease in mass. This increased blood flow to the heart and the decreased mass can then lead to aortic trophy and other heart-related illnesses. The immune system also takes a hit as the effects of microgravity weaken the production of necessary hormones and the white blood cell count in the afflicted body. All of these combined issues lead many astronauts to find their conditions intolerable after a few months, proving indefinitely that a human body is just not capable of surviving in a zero-g environment. The development of dangerous microbes what many people are not aware of is the fact that the changes of the gravity do more than just affect the astronauts on board the International Space Station. When the National Aeronautics and Space Administration conducted research regarding bacterial growth of Salmonella in space, they found that for some strange reason, the bacteria became far more dangerous after a spaceflight. Growing unrestricted in anti-gravity allowed the bacteria to become far more potent in nearly all regard even when compared to lower doses to the same bacteria on Earth. Many other strains of bacteria and viruses also demonstrated this rather horrifying behavior, and it has become mandatory and apparent that all astronauts must be completely screened for any potential viruses and bacteria to make sure that a new strain is not formed accidentally in the confines of the space station. 
This means that though there are efforts currently being handled and made by the private space agency, astronauts can very well be subjected to far more aggressive diseases and illnesses while aboard the International Space Station, as astronauts are constantly coming and going from the facility over time. This has overwhelming and unexpected effects on the health of the astronauts, as the development of these new strains of bacteria and viruses cannot be controlled in a zero-G environment if such a strain was developed aboard the International Space Station, given the fact that the immune systems of the astronauts are already damaged when subjected to such an environment for a prolonged period of time. Even if efforts could be made to bring the astronaut of whom is infected with a new strain of virus or bacteria back to Earth after such an incident occurs, they would still need to go through proper quarantine and containment procedures to minimize the risk of spreading the new strain of aggressive disease from the population here on Earth. This will also prove to have further disastrous effects as private research corporations are attempting to make space travel more affordable and available to the masses, which will no doubt cause further mutations and strains to slip in through the cracks. Behavioural changes caused by isolation and confinement After decades of gathering data relative to the astronauts sent up to the International Space Station, it has become apparent to the National Aeronautics and Space Administration that regardless of how well an astronaut has been trained, isolation and confinement make it completely impossible to expect any mission on the space station to not be subjected to human error and mental declination. This is due to the fact that human beings are incredibly social creatures and the lack of open space, direct sunlight, fresh air and other people can lead to a rapid decline in mental health that even the most resilient individuals would have a hard time handling. Many astronauts claim that one of the issues responsible for this is three different things that play a huge role in the fear and panic. One of the major problems is the close proximity to a handful of people in a confined area for a prolonged period of time. Given the fact that it is impossible to shower when aboard the International Space Station, the smell of co-workers and colleagues becomes fairly noticeable after weeks into a mission. This is only exacerbated as the overall tasking elements of being in a zero-G environment, having to deal with different kinds of radiation, and the overall fear of something going terribly wrong is always a factor in these mental health issues. Aboard the International Space Station, luxuries are also incredibly hard to come by, as every ounce is tracked to ensure the right amount of fuel and efficient cost is handled, which translates into bare necessities, terrible food, and a lack of anything deemed not absolutely crucial for survival. This could prove to be one of the bigger issues needing to be faced by private research corporations in the future, of whom plan on doing longer-term missions for space colonization and permanent habitation. Cosmic and Electromagnetic Radiation Due to Earth's electromagnetic field generated by the spinning dynamo at the core of our planet, we are not normally aware of the constant bombardment of microwave and cosmic radiation that without the electromagnetic field and the ozone layer would threaten all forms of life on Earth. Unfortunately, out in space, that turns out to be a different matter entirely. Outside of the planet's electromagnetic field, astronauts are subjected to an enormous amount of radiation that causes a wide variety of health risks. The radiation bombardment causes an increased risk of cancers of all kinds, the formation of cataracts at a far more rapid rate than normally documented, as well as the annihilation of the immune system that is destroyed as similarly seen when a patient undergoes chemotherapy. In fact, many astronauts have written about cosmic radiation and the strange effects it has on not only their mind, but their eyesight as well. Most astronauts remark that even as they close their eyes, they can still see bright flashes of lights as if their pictures are being taken, because the radiation penetrates so efficiently that it can even pass through their eyelids as if they were not there in the first place. This leads to further issues of mental health as neurons can be scrambled, disorientation can be felt, and the development of insomnia that can keep those on board the International Space Station awake for several days in a row. Interestingly enough, new research coming from SpaceX has found that these different forms of radiation can be dispersed and completely blocked by storing large amounts of water around the hull and living spaces of a ship that will prevent the radiation from seeping in. 
This could very well mean that the problems of radiation out in space could be a thing of the past, if one utilizes even storage space for the development of human spacefaring colonies in the future. But what do you all think of these strange changes in space and the health of the astronauts up there for far too long? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.